On this vote, the yeas are 49, the nays are 51. Three-fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn not having voted in the affirmative. The motion is not agreed to. With this overturn, women all over America were stripped of privacy and their obligated rights to health care. Today, today is a very heavy day for so many of us across the country. Every single one of us has woken up today with less rights than we had yesterday. And pregnant people in particular are, more danger, are in more danger in the United States uh, today than we were yesterday as a result of the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. As a woman. And as a person with common decency. This is where we would start if we had a seat on Congress. Now, abortion is illegal in these 11 states, Alabama, Arkansas, Idaho, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Tennessee, and Texas. Marlena Stell suffered a miscarriage late last year. She says she begged her doctor for help, but was instead forced to live for at least two weeks with fetal remains inside her because of strict anti-abortion laws. She says she was devastated to learn that because the procedure she needed is also used during abortions, which a Texas law restricted, her doctor refused to perform it. Her story is an excruciating reality that could become more common after the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Marlena Stell joins us now, and I appreciate your willingness to share your story. Thanks for your time. I appreciate the chance to speak. And you and your husband have a two-year-old. As I understand it, you were thrilled to learn of your pregnancy. And at seven weeks, you got an ultrasound, showed that everything with your baby was normal. And then tell us what happened. I found out I had my first ultrasound early September, and everything looked great. I was about seven and a half weeks. A couple of weeks later, I asked for another ultrasound because I am a high-risk mom. I'm a bit older, I'm 42 now. And I came in a couple of weeks later, and the baby was not viable. It was not a viable pregnancy. For example, here are 25 Republican men in Alabama that voted to ban abortion. As you can see, they're all geriatric white men. After doing some research, we found that that's a very common trend in lots of states. Here's one example why it is so important to have the rights of abortion. An Ohio rape case led to a 10-year-old girl getting an abortion. At a young age, this girl has experienced too much from this world. If the right of abortion was not attainable, that would have impacted her life very negatively. It's been more than 100 days since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade and ended the constitutional right to abortion. The procedure is now banned or severely restricted in more than a dozen states. That means that one in three women now live in a state with no abortion access, putting them at risk for worse health outcomes. The bans are also having some unintended consequences. Some states are restricting medicine used to treat illnesses like cancer and lupus because they can also be used to end a pregnancy. Physicians are hesitant to treat those with high-risk pregnancies. Listen to this doctor's take. We take this oath to do no harm, and I feel like the law is um, forcing me to not practice that oath. We had a patient recently um, whose fetus had a diagnosis of anencephaly, meaning that sort of the top part of the, the fetus's um, skull had not formed. This is a lethal diagnosis. This is not something where that baby can survive outside of the womb. Before the Dobbs ruling, we would have been able to care for her uh, at the same hospital where she delivered her last two children. Now, because that fetus still had cardiac activity, uh, we had to refer her out of state. With all this, this is exactly why we need to see change happen. It should have never gotten to the point where people are fighting for the rights of their own bodies.